Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you all again. And this is my first video 2024 and I thought why not make it a special video, something that I haven't done before. So I'm gonna do a challenge. And the challenge is to choose one of these four lenses to go out on a photo shoot. Just pack one lens in the bag. And the lenses that I have to choose from is the 14 to 30, 24 to 70, 70 to 200 and a prime lens, the 400 mm Just a few quick words on each lens. The 14 to 30, I use this for woodland photography, seascapes. It's a really versatile lens for landscape photography. But most recently I've been using it mostly for videography, so I'm not so sure if I'm gonna pick this one. And next we have the 24 to 70. And this is probably the one lens I would choose if I, if I just could have one lens in my collection. It's so versatile for so many types of photography, so yeah, this might be a little bit too easy for a challenge. And next we have the 70 to 200. And believe it or not, this is actually my favorite lens of all times. It covers from landscape and all the way to wildlife photography. So this is a great contender for this uh, challenge. And next we have the 400 mm prime. And this might be a little bit too tricky for a challenge. Um, I usually do wildlife with this, but I have had some success with landscape photography as well. So, hmm, which one to choose? Well, I feel like these two might be a little bit too tricky for a challenge. And this one might be too easy for a challenge. So, do I go for the 70 to 200? Well, even though I just said that these two might be too tricky for a challenge, I'm gonna go with one of those. I'm going for the one prime that I have in my collection, the 400 mm lens. So, I'm up for a real challenge today, I feel like. So let's attach it to my Z7 and go out on a photo shoot. And I hope you tag along. All right, so I'm on location and it's about maybe 45 minutes until sunrise. And this is my first location of today. Let's call this stage one of the lens challenge. And I'm gonna climb a hill or well a small mountain. It's maybe 200 meters high and I get a really nice view over some forests and I can see all the way out to the sea. So I thought that would be <laughs> quite easy for a 400 millimeter lens and we you know long range photography. So let's call this stage one of the challenge and let's climb this mountain. Ooh, really cold today. Minus 17 degrees Celsius. Ah, but I'm loving it. So great. I'm looking forward to this. Wow, what a nice view. And it's been a while since I, since I was here, so it's actually nice to visit this area once more. So, yeah, let's see what we can find there. Very exciting. The sun hasn't showed itself yet, it's still below horizon. But when it does climb over the horizon, I think the, the light is gonna change really dramatically. So I'm really looking forward to that. But for now, let's grab a quick shot here. It's just a snow covered hill in the distance with some trees in the foreground and in the background there are, uh, well there are actually islands, but we can't really tell on this image. So, and I'm gonna have to focus stack this because you know, 400 millimeters, really short depth of field. So a free shot focus stack. So this is just to get things started.
You see that big industrial complex off in the distance? That's the exact direction where the, where the sun is going to rise. So, I don't know, maybe I can take a picture of the smoke from the, from the pipes <laughs> when, when they are backlit. I don't know. We have to wait and see what the light reveals. Absolutely fantastic. Look at these conditions. The sun is up and everything is heavily backlit and I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I'm taking pictures of backlit trees and um, I'm gonna work really hard now and see if I can get some really nice pictures. So, first stage of this challenge completed, and was it a success? <laughs> That's really hard to say, but I had a lot of fun. And this lens is really good for long-range photography. So let's try something different. Let's go to another location and try sort of mid-range photography. So this is stage two of this challenge and now I'm going to focus on things that are a little bit closer than from on top of that mountain. The subjects are maybe, let's say, 50 to 100 meters away, so a lot closer than, than before. So this is an interesting part of this challenge. I'm photographing some backlit trees again. I think that's the name of the game today, backlit trees. But I love it, it's really nice. And I can take all the shots handheld because I got so much light here today. But I don't think I can find anything else than the backlit trees from this little bird spotting tower. So let's go for a little walk. This middle range photography with a 400 mm lens is really challenging. I would go so far to say that it's really hard. <laughs> I can't really find anything that's mid-range. Everything that's, uh, that I want to photograph with this lens that I can see here is really far off in the distance. So I would go and say that this stage is a failure. I would be much more comfortable with a with my 70 to 200 lens in this type of situation. So let's quickly end the stage two and move on to stage three, which is <laughs> close range. So what kind of photography can you do at close range with a 400 millimeter lens? Well, I'm gonna try something that I have never tried before. It's called ICM, intentional camera movement. So I'm gonna intentionally move my camera to create really abstract and uh, I'm pretty sure every shot is going to be out of focus because I'm moving the camera. <laughs> so let's try these saplings in, in front of me here. I'm, I set my camera to manual focus and I'm at one tenth of a second. And I'm going to move my camera quite rapidly. <laughs> let's have a look. 
Well, this is going to take some practicing. I'm going to try this some more. One tenth of a second might be too short, so let's try like a half a second. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna experiment a bit with this and if any of the shots turn out to be good, here they are. I really wanted to be out there the whole day for this challenge, but it's so cold out here today. It's close to minus 20 degrees Celsius and my face is <laughs> completely frozen. I can barely talk and uh, the batteries of my heated gloves are running out. So mm, what to do? Let's uh, summarize this photo challenge. Well, first of all, this was a lot of fun. To limit myself to use only a 400mm lens for landscape photography has been both fun and challenging. And I would go ahead and call this challenge a success because I did actually get a lot of great photos. I was happy with those shots. And that ICM technique, I'm definitely going to use that some more in, in future videos. So I would love to hear what you think about this. Was it a success or a failure? Leave a comment down below. And yeah, I have to go home now. It's too cold out here for me right now. So give the video a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, I see you on the next adventure. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.